All right, Scott, your second Masters. Um, just how much more prepared are you this time uh, coming into Augusta? A lot. Uh, you know what to expect. You know what your week looks like. You know <clears throat> kind of what to expect uh, from just a time standpoint. Everything seems to take a little longer. You know, you know, while it's a golf tournament, while it's, <clears throat> you know, one of the most prestigious events we play, it's still something to be enjoyed. It's still something to be experienced. And, you know, finding a balance between those two is something that I think people struggle with, especially for their first time around. And, I mean, I definitely fell victim to that as well my first time. And not that I'm not enjoying it, but, you know, you definitely have a little bit more of a thought towards Thursday and what that looks like and kind of giving yourself an opportunity to, you know, play your way to contention, you know, throughout the course of the week and definitely you know, keep an eye towards Sunday as well. Does it take pressure off knowing, well, number one, last time you were coming off the rib cage injury and number two, you're having to, you know, pick everybody's brain and get so much information. You don't have to do either of those this time. That's got to feel a bit better going into the week. Yeah, I mean, this is the most prepared <clears throat> I've felt for an event as far as course preparation. I mean, obviously, the course has a ton of history and all this and that, but it's also, you know, I've played the course a lot, and, you know, I've taken the time to learn as much as I possibly can from anybody that's had any kind of success around here. But also I've taken the time to kind of learn it for myself and kind of be able to how I wanted to go about it. You know, some holes a certain different way than, than others, but it's all what you're comfortable with and, you know, kind of the risk you want to take out there. Two years ago you played in the par three contest and you can see other players out there with their children and I'm sure you've seen it on TV. And now that you're going to get that opportunity tomorrow on Wednesday to have your son Finn catting for you and your wife out there, how special is that going to be? It'll be <clears throat> something we talked about. It'll be very special. That was the first thing we talked about after I won at Tory and having the opportunity to have Finn and Jen out there. And um, I don't know, it's, you know, we're excited. <laughs> we're a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Our little guy can get a little rambunctious every now yeah. and then. But, uh, you know, it'll be awesome. And, you know, we have a lot of friends and family out there that'll be out there taking it all in. So it'll be awesome. How'd y'all get the caddy suit and all that stuff set up for him? Uh, my sister in law, my nephew caddied for me last time a couple years ago. And, uh, she still had the you know, design and everything, so she made it for him. And, uh, so he'll be out there running around everywhere, and we'll try to keep him out of the lakes and the ponds, but uh, we'll be, everyone will be excited to see him out there. I know he's into golf a little bit. Will he, he get to putt at all or anything like that, you think? Uh, he'll be into everything. <laughs> uh, he'll take my clubs, take his own, uh, hopefully not everyone else's ball, but you know, any ball is his ball, according right. to him. But <laughs> so. Last thing, uh, the, the pairing on Thursday, uh, playing with two, I think, pretty experienced players, two <coughs> former major champions, and Craig Stadler and Martin Keimer. Uh, do you know much about those guys? Have you, or just you know, their past is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I mean, I've played with Martin a few times, and Martin's a member at Whisper Rock as well as I am, and uh, Scott Still, and uh, <coughs> we've practiced a little bit uh, together. We've played a little bit. And obviously, I know Martin much more, no more, uh, much more than I know Mr. Stadler. But uh, it'll be exciting, you know. A pairing is a pairing, you know. It'll be good to have a tea time at Augusta on Thursday for Masters is is awesome, no matter what time it is. And uh, I'll go out there and handle it like I normally do.